Growing your own fruit and vegetables is a satisfying way of guaranteeing healthy produce. Making the most of the space you have available is key to maximising the abundance of what you grow. In this video we present five simple steps for a productive garden brimming with homegrown goodness. Every productive garden has healthy soil at its heart. Most soils can be greatly improved by adding well rotted organic matter such as garden compost or manure from organic farms or other sources where no persistent herbicides have been used. Organic matter is rich in beneficial microbes that make the nutrients contained in soil available to plants' roots. It also improves soil structure, retaining moisture within quick-draining sandy soils while helping waterlog-prone soils such as clay to drain more easily. Add organic matter as you dig your soil before the season starts. If it's already been dug or you practice no-dig gardening, simply leave it on top or use a garden fork to tickle it into the top few inches of soil. The worms will do the rest of the work for you. Organic matter can also be added around established plants such as fruit trees and bushes, or laid into the bottom of planting holes for very hungry vegetables such as climbing beans or squashes. The secret to getting the most from your plot is careful planning. By setting out what, when and where you want to grow in advance, you can ensure that soil's rarely left bare and there is always something ready to be harvested. Our Garden Planner offers a time-saving tool for planning your garden. Start by defining its dimensions, then select and drop into place structures and permanent features such as fences, paths, greenhouses and raised beds. Objects can be resized and moved around to accurately reflect your garden's layout. Use the plant selection bar to select and drag out rows or groups of crops. By taking the time to make a plan, you can make sure that every space is filled, leaving little room for weeds and no excuse for unproductive gaps. See our video on how to plan a vegetable garden for more advice. Maximise harvests by choosing the most abundant types of fruits and vegetables and the most prolific varieties. For example, a row of climbing beans will produce many pounds of pods over the growing season, making the most of vertical space and giving a greater yield for that space. Vegetables such as zucchini, squash or kale are notoriously prolific, while others like radish, salad leaves and spring onions grow so rapidly they can be sown repeatedly throughout the growing season to give several harvests. For fast growing crops, plant in succession so that one crop is ready to sow or plant as soon as another has finished. For example, leeks could follow on from early peas, spinach can replace onions, while spring cabbages would be ready to plant out after broad or fava beans are finished. It's easy to plan this in the garden planner using the succession planting feature. Simply double click a plant to set its in-ground dates, then view your plan month by month so you can quickly see where gaps will appear. Then, using the custom filter button, you can choose to show only plants that can be sown or planted during a particular month. Some crops are especially high yielding. Hybrid varieties may have been bred to resist disease or adverse growing conditions such as drought or to give bigger, more predictable yields. Other varieties give two uses for the price of one. For example, some apples can be eaten straight from the tree or cooked. Productive gardens aren't just for the summer months. Grow all year round by starting off early season vegetables within the warmth of a greenhouse or cold frame. When the weather outside has warmed up, the young plants can be planted out, giving you a head start on those sown outdoors. Tender crops such as tomatoes, cucumbers and chilli peppers can be sown weeks ahead so that they're ready to plant out as soon as the date of the last frost has passed. Our garden planner will tell you the best time to sow and plant based on climate data for your area. Outdoors, soil can be warmed in advance of sowing by covering it over with row tunnels, cloches, clear plastic or horticultural fleece. Position the covers at least two weeks beforehand to trap the sun's warmth long enough to penetrate the top few inches of soil. Keep them in place after sowing to encourage quick germination and a quicker harvest. Covers can also be placed onto established crops at the end of the summer to extend the season, or use them to grow a winter crop of hardy salad leaves. Competition from your crops comes in the form of weeds, pests and diseases that will slow down growth and compromise your garden's productivity. Keep on top of weeds by hoeing regularly or hand pulling, 
or use scissors to avoid disturbing the roots of young seedlings. Lay down a mulch of organic matter at least an inch thick to check weed growth. Weed suppressing membranes can be set around permanent plants such as fruit trees and bushes. Once your seedlings are growing, don't forget that they can be delicious for garden pests too. Slug traps filled with beer will help prevent devastation by mollusks. Protect vegetables prone to pigeon damage with netting, or use micromesh and other fine coverings to guard against insect pests such as whitefly, caterpillars and carrotfly. Fruit can be grown inside a fruit cage to exclude hungry birds. You can also encourage pest predators into the garden to reduce the need for pesticides while boosting productivity. Do this by providing suitable habitats such as ponds, insect hotels and log or stone piles and by mixing in beneficial insect attracting flowers such as calendula into your plan. A garden that's productive is a place of great beauty. It's achievable given the combination of planning, dedication and just a little tender loving care. Please share your tips or questions by leaving a comment below or subscribe to receive other helpful gardening videos.